Hey guys, in the fast lane here. Uh, today we're going to be degreeing the cams on my GSR. So we're getting ready to put it on the hoist and set it on the engine stand. Alright guys, so we went ahead and put the degree wheel in and we got it real close. And then we went ahead and put the stopper in right here. It's a piston stopper. And we screwed it in and we turned it until it stopped. Then we took note of where we were at on the degree wheel. And then we went another 360 degrees the other way. And where that stopped, we're gonna split that in half and then that's gonna be top dead center. So when we went 360 this way, we ended up on 19. And then we went 360 the other way until it came to the piston stopper, it was 20. So we split that in half and we had 18 degrees. And then we turned the wheel once we got it and zeroed it out. So once it's zero, now we know we're at top dead center, and now we're able to uh, adjust the cams or de degree the cams. All right, guys, so here we are getting ready to lock VTEC in. Just got a big fat piece of rubber, kind of hammered it down in there. There's a hole right in here that you have to block off. And we got this snap-on air compressor tool fitting. It's a M10 by 1.0 pitch, and we're just going to thread it in and put some compressed air in there and then it'll lock in the VTEC. A quick note would be to make sure you spin the crank all the way around once you get the air going because sometimes VTEC won't lock in. So when you spin it, it'll shoot those pistons through. So what we're getting ready to do is we're gonna rotate the engine 50 degrees on the uh, dial right here. We got it zeroed out. And we're going to go 50 one way and then 50 the other way and we're going to take note of what we got right here on the degree wheel so when we go 50 one way whatever it says we'll take that number and then when we go 50 the other way whatever it says we'll take those two numbers and divide them and we got our VTEC locked in right here we're applying about 60 to 90 psi and as you can see right here when he spins it this is going to be locked in this is a VTEC rocker so right now, what do we got? We got uh, 71 degrees. 71 degrees, and now he's spinning it again to 50. And we take a look right here, and we got ourselves 151, and we multiply them and divide them by two. Yeah, 111 is the exhaust center line. So. 111 is the exhaust center line. What we want with the exhaust is we want 111 for the center line, and then for the intake, it's going to be 105. So whatever we're at, once we multiply and divide those numbers, we can adjust the cam however many degrees we need to get to that center line. All right, so for the intake, we just went up to 50 right here on the dial, and then we took note of what the degree was, which was 135. So now we're going back the other way, and we're hitting 50 again, 50 thousandths, and it tells us that we're at 58 degrees, and we multiply those two, and we get a number of 96.5 once we divide them. Multiply and then divide them. So 96.5 is our intake center valve, so that's what we're looking at. Now the reason why you want to lock in VTEC is we did it both ways and the intake cam actually changed. Uh, the intake with non-VTEC was uh, 105 degrees and then when VTEC was locked in it went to 96.5 so that's a that's quite a bit of difference. Now with the exhaust when we didn't have VTEC engaged it was uh, 111 and then when we engaged it it was pretty much the same. It was, I think it was 110.75 thousand. It really didn't do anything at all. So that's why you got to have VTEC locked in. It did change the lift, obviously, 360 thousand from 270. And then the lift on the intake, what do we have for the intake? Okay, it was 215 and then it went to 411. So you actually get more lift on the intake cam than you do on the exhaust. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook page, website, and Android app. All that can be found on my YouTube channel in the About Me section. I'm in the fast lane, and I'll see you guys next time.